the New Amsterdam Mayan Town Council recently revealed final plans for Town Week for New Amsterdam Town Week 2016. Shanice Beckles reports. The New Amsterdam Mayor and Town Council on Monday held a meeting at the New Amsterdam Town Hall Chambers with regards to the New Amsterdam Town Week of activities scheduled to commence on the 24th of October 2016. Deputy Mayor of New Amsterdam, Ms. Winifred Haywood, gave a brief overview of the activities scheduled from the 24th to the 26th of October. On the 24th, that's two weeks hence, the 24th to the 26th, we would like to have a five-a-side football tournament. But last night, speaking to one of the persons in the football fraternity, they have said to me that, well, instead of having a five-a-side, they are going to have an eight-a-side where they want to involve most of the teams. Right now, we are playing and eight side football competition. Mm -hmm. And because they're playing that, they suggest to me that well, they would also do this for the council. With this football competition, it is hoped that when, they, when we have the winning team, that they will be presented with cash instead of trophies. That is happening between the 24th to the 26th of October. Councillor Kirk Fraser, who is in charge of the town's week of activity, further elaborated on the events scheduled. On the 27th, we will be having the opening ceremony, and this is going to start at Highbridge with the parade that we would have planned, um, members of the joint services as well as members of the municipality constabulary will be marching from Highbridge to State House One, where we have the official opening ceremony. And after which, in the evening, we have the presidential dinner and mayor's ball. On the 28th, this is the venue for Yeah, the venue is New Amsterdam Town Hall for the dinner and ball. This is a fundraising venture, and all the proceeds that is realized from this activity goes primarily to the development of the boulevard. And the cost for the dinner is $6,000 per person, um, and we are targeting more or less those within the business community to be part of this activity. On the 28th, we'll be having the Literary Festival, and that commences at 9 in the morning, right here at the town hall. Um, and we will be showcasing all the great writers that Guyana would have produced in this activity. Uh, we will also be having some presentation on some of the various writers. And this will be done by the majority of the secondary schools in, in and around Amsterdam. On the same day on the 28th, we'll be having a fashion show. At, and it comprises of female students from our secondary schools in New Amsterdam. And that is built for the evening of the 28th. Mr. Fraser explained that the aim of the Mayor and Town Council is to inject some liveliness back into the entire exhibition that was missing for a number of years. On the 29th, We'll be having the Street Fest, an exhibition. And this year you'll recognize that it's somewhat different than the other years. We would have invited a number of agencies, government as well as non-governmental, to be part of our street exhibition. And you'd find that there is a separation between um, those who like partying and those who would want to do the exhibition type of thing. From Pitt Street, going northwards, that is the area that is allocated for all the exhibitions, right? Um, from Pitt Street, going southward, is the area that we would have earmarked for those who would want to party and have drinks and so on. So you won't find from Pitt Street going north, 
any alcohol, beverages, and so on being sold in that area. You'd find that strictly exhibition, and we have a special area for our kids that are coming out because for long we weren't catering for our kids, so we're catering for our kids in that corner too, and our exhibition. Um, no music would be allowed in that area. We're looking to have steel pan being played in that area at varying uh, parts of the exhibition area. So any music that is coming there is coming from steel mans and we would have contacted the Guyana Police Force, the Guyana Defense Force, Guyana Prison Service, and the Art Finders, and we also talked to the Ministry of Culture, which will be providing the National Steel Orchestra for us. He went on to say, Later in the evening, we'll be having a concert by a reggae concert or a mixture of, of persons, a mixture of entertainers that will be gracing us at the Bonham Park. That's a tentative date today that we'll be holding that there. And on the church yet, the curtains come down where we'll be having a family for the uh, at Wet Fest. The proposed area that we had in mind was the Sterling Road, but because of the unavailability of the nature in which we want to take this activity, we are now looking at the pool in Angai's Avenue to keep this um, wet fest, because you need water and so on to be present there for persons who will be enjoying that. He noted that vendors at the town week of activities will not be allowed to use glass bottles. Persons who are vending would not be allowed to use a glass bottle to do their vending. Plastic cups only. This New Amsterdam town week is expected to be an enjoyable one. Shinise Beckles reporting for Channel 8 News.